For what purpose does the gentleman from Utah seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass H.R. 670. The clerk will report the title of the bill. Union calendar number 107, H.R. 670, a bill to convey certain submerged lands to the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands in order to give the territory the same benefits in its submerged islands as Guam, the Virgin Islands, and America and Samoa have in their submerged lands. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Utah, Mr. Bishop, and the gentleman from the Mariana Islands, Mr. Sablon, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Utah. I ask unanimous, unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous materials on the bill under consideration. Without objection. And I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. It's my pleasure to be here on this particular bill, H.R. 670. It conveys, as was mentioned in the title, three miles of submerged lands onto the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. The authority will give the Pacific Territory similar authority and benefits that are currently enjoyed by many coastal states and other U.S. territories, specifically of Guam, Virgin Islands, and American Samoa. The last Congress passed similar legislation out of the House by a roll call vote of 416 to 0, and I hope we can beat that record today. Um, I'm, a, I'm pleased to have been able to work on this, and uh, I, I thank the gentleman from the Northern Marianas, Mrs. Blum, for actually presenting this pr particular bill to us. It is a good piece of legislation. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves his time. The gentleman from the Mariana Islands is recognized. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I ask unanimous consent to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection. And Mr. Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 670, a bill that conveys to the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands the three miles of submerged land surrounding each of our islands. I want to thank the leaders from both sides of the aisle, particularly Chairman Hastings and Ranking Member Markey of the Natural Resources Committee, and my very good friend, Dr. John Fleming, Chairman of the Fisheries, Wildlife, Ocean, and Insular Affairs Subcommittee, for their support of H.R. 670. I'd also like to note also that the language of H.R. 670 previously, as my good friend has noted, passed the House in the 111th Congress by a vote of 416 to 0. As we know, sometimes happened, however, though favorably reported from each committee of jurisdiction, the other body took no final action. So I hope that members of this House will join me today in making a second effort to get this bill enacted into law. The Northern Mariana Islands is the only United States coastal jurisdiction that does not have ownership of the submerged land off its coast. H.R. 670 corrects that irregularity and provides the same ownership rights over the submerged land surrounding the Northern Marianas as are provided by federal law to Guam, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and American Samoa. This bill provides equity to the people of the Northern Marianas. It returns management of these near-shore lands and waters to those who know them best and need them to be well managed. It gives the people of the, of the Marianas who have such limited land resources the power to protect and to benefit from the seas around our 14 islands. To highlight the importance of this point, in 2006, Louisiana leased 392,118 acres of its submerged land for oyster harvest profiting the state and providing an economic opportunity for holders of 8,167 leases. Likewise, the state of California leases tracts of its submerged land for oil and gas extraction, creating jobs and contributing to the state's economy. Other coastal jurisdictions have similar stories to tell about the important role that coastal lands and waters can play in economic growth. For the area I represent, which has suffered declining GDP after year after year since 2004, and a 20% drop in 2009, gaining control of summer, sur surrounding submerged lands could help to turn things around. Whereas now the federal government is in charge and does nothing with the potential of these lands, H.R. 670 will put the local government in charge. We would be free to develop offshore wind farms or other energy alternatives and responsible for protecting the rare marine environment, which is both our legacy and our trust, and also makes our islands alluring to tourists. 
What H.R. 670 does for the Northern Marianas is what this Congress previously has done for other U.S. coastal jurisdictions. In the 1941 case of U.S. versus California, the federal courts found that the federal government owned the submerged lands of the coast of California and other coastal states. These states then turned to Congress to regain control of their submerged lands, and Congress granted this state's title to the waters and submerged lands out to three miles in the Submerged Lands Act of 1953. History repeats itself here. In 2005, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that the submerged lands and waters of our coastline did not belong to the people of the Northern Marianas, despite that we had fished and sailed there for at least 3,500 years. The Ninth Circuit did recognize, however, that Congress had the power to convey the submerged land to the Marianas. H.R. 670 does exactly that. H.R. 670 employs the constitutional authority of this Congress to dispose of federal property. The same authority that Congress used to convey offshore lands to Guam, the United States Virgin Islands, and American Samoa under the Territorial Submerged Lands Act of 1974. Finally, let me say there is great support for this legislation among the people of the Northern Mariana Islands. So much so that when I was sworn in as the first representative for islands in the House of Representatives, this was my first bill. The governor of the Northern Marianas has expressed his support. The Northern Marianas legislature has passed a resolution in favor of a return to local management. In addition, the Obama administration has expressed its support for the conveyance of submerged lands to the people of the Northern Mariana Islands. This house too, as I said at the beginning, has given overwhelming support to the, to the language of this bill, which passed the House unanimously on July 15, 2009. I once again ask for your support. H.R. 670 costs nothing. Congress has the constitutional authority to enact this bill. It will provide equity, the same ownership and responsibility for surrounding lands and waters that every other coastal area of our nation enjoys. I want to thank all of those members who are co-sponsors of this bill, and I ask that my colleagues support H.R. 670. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves his time. The gentleman from Utah. I have no more speakers. The gentleman has no more speakers. I have no more speakers. Then, with that, uh, I urge the adoption of this particular resolution, and I yield back my time. The gentleman yields back his time. Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back his time. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass H.R. 670? Those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative. Mr. Speaker. The gentleman from Utah. On that, I ask for the yeas and nays. The yeas and nays are requested. All those in favor of taking this vote by the yeas and nays will rise and remain standing until counted. A sufficient number having risen, the yeas and nays are ordered. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, further proceedings on this question will be postponed. The unfinished business is the vote on a motion of the gentleman from Utah, Mr. Bishop, to suspend the rules and pass H.R. 670, on which the yeas and nays are ordered. The clerk will report the title of the bill. The Union Calendar Number 107, H.R. 670, a bill to convey certain submerged lands to the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands in order to give that territory the same benefits in its submerged lands as Guam, the Virgin Islands, and American Samoa have in their submerged lands. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill? Members will record their votes by electronic device. This will be a five-minute vote. On this vote, the yeas are 397, the nays are zero, two-thirds being in the affirmative. The rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.